welcome to No Limits with me, Reagan. You probably don't know this, but I love art. I love doing anything that's creative. On my show, I'm learning all about how people overcome challenges and do things in different ways. One of the things I learned is that um, overcoming obstacles actually requires creativity. Sometimes you need to paint outside of the lines to do what you want to do. On today's episode, I'm going to be meeting with Jean Rogers. Jean happens to be a quadriplegic who has been to like almost everywhere. 44 countries. Jean goes on adventures all over the world. You won't even believe it. You'll see in the video. He's going to show me his power chair. He's also going to show me a chair that he modified that he uses to go all over the world. Hey, Reagan, can I see your painting? No, you have to wait for the end of the show for the big reveal. I think I'm going to run. to Reagan. When I was just in high school, I broke my neck and became paralyzed, but I had some good friends and they took me traveling with them. I learned the love of traveling. I earned a couple of college degrees. I went traveling in 44 countries and I did stuff like skydiving and scuba diving and sailing on a tall ship and snow skiing and, and I went on an adventure with your dad. We went trekking to Mount Everest Base Camp. And when we were trekking in Mount Everest, we met a videographer, Andy Cochran. And Andy taught me how to video edit. And so I thought, wow, this is cool. I can make movies too. So I got together with my buddy, Dave Dauber, and we created a show, The Gene and Dave Show. You could see it on TV in Austin, or you could see it anytime on the web at thegeneanddaveshow.com. And we're pleased to let people know we're going to have at least one of your videos, No Limits, on our show. What? You have your own TV show? You bet. And it's way cool. We're Super. Gonna, we're going to interview all kinds of people doing everything from arts to bird watching to politics and recreation. Um, we'll interview people at South by Southwest. We're just going to have a lot of fun and people are going to learn a lot about people with disabilities. That is so cool. Thank you, Jean. Thank you, Reagan. Can you tell us how you see your wheelchair? Well, sure. I'd be happy to, Reagan. My wheelchair is more like clothing that's really functional. When I go traveling, Sometimes they take me out of my wheelchair. So if I go skydiving or paragliding, um, they take me out of my wheelchair. But I don't want to leave my wallet in a wheelchair. So I had my mom sew big pockets on the legs of my pants. I've always got the important stuff with me, no matter what I'm doing. Okay. Your chair is different from my dad's chair because it's a power chair. That's right, Regan. I've got a couple of batteries in this chair. It makes it really heavy. But it gets me around just like your dad's chair gets him around. Although your dad might be able to get some help to go up steps, I have to be real careful and look for ramps everywhere I go and elevators. So I'm glad I live in Austin where it's real accessible. It's got a couple of car batteries back there. It makes it pretty heavy. You can't fold it up and just push it out of the way when, when you're not using it. I have to recharge it, the batteries, oh, maybe every other night, too. You see this button here, the switch? Mm -hmm. This is a remote control for the lock of my apartment door. I press one button to lock the door when I leave, and then, let's say I come back from the store, I want to unlock my apartment door, I press the other button. That way I could 
leave and come back anytime I want. So I'm really independent that way. So I've got some cool stuff on my chair, Reagan. See this button here? Yeah. I press this button here and the chair tilts back. This is good so I can shift my weight, make me more comfortable, and I could go to the dentist and tilt my chair back and he could work on me. I don't have to get into a dentist chair. So it's really neat. That is so cool. Yeah. Whatever direction I push this stick in is the direction the chair will go. This switch here is to turn it on and off. And this little dial here, where you see below my little finger, that controls the speed as well. So I can set it on slow speed if I'm in a crowded room. Or if I'm on the streets, I could put it on high speed. I've heard that you had another chair that you have used. I've got a manual chair that I use when I travel. Because there's lots of times I'll get in and out of cars or taxis, trains, planes, all kinds of things. And it would be really difficult to do with an electric chair. Let me show you my chair and give you an idea of what I do. It doesn't have any batteries on it. But I did modify the chair so I could use it when I travel. It's lightweight, it's small. I put a netting underneath the chair. That way I can throw a duffel bag underneath there. It won't be in the way. My attendant won't have to carry it. I won't have to carry it. But I could also have a little bag on the front or bag on the back of my chair to carry other stuff. I put these, well, I call them sea legs on the back. I could lock them in place and take the wheels off. That means I could get into really narrow doorways. What is your greatest accomplishment? I think my greatest accomplishment is I made somebody happy. I post pictures of my adventures on my website, www.genosplace.org. And I put up some scuba pictures. Somebody who was just going through web pages saw those pictures, and they saw the other pictures I had on my web page, and they wrote to me and they said that they were the father of a three-year-old boy that had cerebral palsy. And the man said he was feeling bad for himself because he couldn't do the things that dads would usually do with their kids. But then he saw my pictures and video on my web page and all of a sudden, a whole new world opened up for him. And he was real happy about that. So I made him happy, and then I was happy hearing about it. And I was glad I was able to do it. And that's why I continue to share my adventures. So, Reagan, I did so much traveling, I finally figured out exactly the kind of wheelchair that I needed. Let me tell you about it. It's got to be small enough to fit on your standard elephant. It has to be short enough. It could fit on the front of a boat to go through the Costa Rican jungles. You have to be able to take the wheels off to stick it in an elevator. And you gotta, gotta be able to carry it up and down steps like in Thailand to explore the floating market. And when I go scuba diving, I just leave the chair on the boat. I had somebody push me in my chair when I went trekking in the Andes, but I had a Sherpa carry it when I went on a trek in the Himalayas. I think you might be the most interesting man in the world. Well, thank you, Reagan. I think you're pretty interesting, too. Thank you for meeting with me, Mr. Gene. Oh, you're welcome, Reagan. Thank you for coming to my place. You're welcome so, 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 so much. Wow, isn't he so creative? Gene has a no limit spirit, which is what this show's all about. So thank you, Gene, you inspire me. Ready for the big reveal? This is what I came up with. Wow. The sun reflecting off of the water. Okay, so the funny thing is that it's, it's 
The sun's going down right now. Until next time, no limits!